Hi everybody, welcome to World Swamp. This is Fat Frog, and we're playing on Ark Survival Scorched Earth and we're talking about water today, but everything pretty much that we talk about here also applies to Ark Survival Evolved on the uh, regular maps. So we're going to talk about water in relation to how we need it for drinking. And it's most important here on Scorched Earth because water is in short supply. And also it uh, you use up a lot of it quickly. So first off, we have a few <clears throat> reservoirs and things around here. And my water level is just a little low, but I'm standing in the water and nothing's happening. I can do one of two things. I can go in deep water and submerge myself and then I will drink, which is kind of weird. Um, but the other thing I can do is fill one of the water jars, canteens, or uh, water skins while I'm standing in the water. And that will make me drink uh, the water and it will also fill up that uh, receptacle. So. I've got a water jar in the number eight slot and it's already full, but if I drink it out of it once again, my water is all the way filled. And so, like I said, the other thing you could do is dive down here and it takes a couple seconds, but then you fill up your water and then you can pop back out. You certainly can't rely on rain here in uh, Ark uh, Scorched Earth, but if it did rain and it does on very rare occasion, you can do the same thing. You can hit that, uh, you'll just automatically drink, I believe, but you can refill your water bottle when that happens by hitting whatever that is on, on your hot bar, or I think you can go also in the inventory. And so I got a canteen here, and if it was raining, I could hit use item, and it should make you drink, and then also fill up your water jar, water skin, or canteen. <clears throat> So another thing you can do in relation to trying to fill up those things is you can hold and get access to a water tap and then you can place that in uh, the inventory here and it will just fill up. So it can be kind of nice if you've got extra ones of uh, canteens and whatnot to put those in there and then have access to them. And then you can also just drink the water from here by hitting E. And it doesn't matter whether you have it flowing from the top or you have one down on the ground. You can still drink from it, still access the inventory. I just think it looks cooler um, with the water flowing out like that. So we'll also look at how today on how to build these things, how to build the canteens and whatnot. So let's go up to base, grab the materials that we need to craft those items, and we'll talk about uh, those receptacles for water. So, all right, let's get to it. We'll need some ingredients, or not ingredients, but some resources to build some of these things. I can't remember exactly, actually, what is all required, but let's take a look at the very basics, and that is the water skin. So let's pull that up. I don't even know if I've learned it because I have found so many of these items uh, in supply drops, so I haven't actually learned it. So let's look up water skin. There we do, where we've got that. So let's actually go water. All right, so we haven't learned the water jar then. Like I said, I picked up a bunch of these things already and actually blueprints as well. So water jar, water stain, and what about the canteen? Canteen, there you are. So the canteen is gonna have to be made in the fabricator. So that's kind of a high end thing. So now let's go into our ingrams and see what we need to craft a water skin, which is where? I thought it would be at the top, but anyway, it is not. So let's look at that. So water skin, very simple, very easy to make uh, very soon. All you do is have to kill something and pick up a little fiber. So it takes four hide and 12 fiber, and I might as well just go ahead and craft one up. So like I said, or just to show you when I was down there at the pond, on how to fill these things. Now the water skin actually loses water pretty quickly. Um, so it's not the greatest thing. So what is much better is the water jar. And so we look in craftables and see what that entails. So that is a little more high end in that you're gonna need a little bit of cementing paste, a little bit of crystal, and a little bit of hide. So that's seven cementing paste, five hide, and two crystal. Uh, I don't have cementing paste in my inventory, so that was the problem. So we'll just go ahead and grab a little of that. Now we can make a water jar and we craft that item. 
So the water, like I said, or I thought I said, is going to evaporate from this, but it's going to evaporate very slowly. Now the canteen is a different thing. So we're going to have to go over to our fabricator, which is already on and running. And we're going to look up canteen. There it is. And I'm not going to make one uh, this time, just because I already have a couple of them. So polymer, we need, we need 10 polymer, 2 hide four cementing paste, one metal ingot. So it doesn't really take a lot of materials uh, to build, but you are going to need a fabricator, which is a little bit high end. So it's going to take a while um, for you to reach that point where you can build a fabricator, get a canteen, which isn't going to leak. So the next thing to do is we're gonna take a look at how to build um, that uh, water tap that I showed you down there. And I might have some of those materials Alrighty, so let's look up water. We've got wells, and I wanted to show you some things with wells, so we're going to go grab those. Now those, again, we picked up in uh, in supply drops. Um, so let's look up pipes. These are all from uh, supply drops as well, and I'm pretty sure all you need to make pipes is stones. They're very easy to make once you've learned the ingrams. <clears throat> so let's grab the tap. We'll grab... Uh, we're too heavy now that crystal is really weighing us down so let's dump the crystal uh, we're not going to need much of any of this I don't think I don't need these berries at this time all right I'm about to hide water skin I don't need I'll dump it in there just for now I don't need that right now um, cementing paste nope I didn't want to dump that um, just wanted to put it in the inventory where I cementing paste okay so let's just dump that I know it doesn't weigh a lot but get rid of it because we don't need it okay so let's go grab some stone because now we're going to need to make the intake pipe which is the trickiest thing it's not tricky at all but you know you have to make it what uh, here we go all right so grab 100 stone that's probably enough let's go ahead and build the intake pipe right away um i don't know if i learned that yet let's see stone irrigation pipe intake yes i have learned that one so let's go to craftables and there it is uh, let's see we're gonna build two right away and now we're gonna go check out what we need to do to build those so we're going to go down to our water supply and do that hello hello wild jerboa i love jerboas i like to keep extra ones because um i tend to lose a lot due to dying and then the jerboa is dying and they're gonna that guy's gonna tame up fast so i keep a bunch of extra ones and uh, as you probably saw inside there and just let them gain passive xp put in uh every uh every uh xp increase whoa he's up already uh into uh health anyway so just gonna say hello to this guy and then we are going to move on okay whistle unfollow okay so we're back down here on the pond we've got our water intake pipe you can see it's green and as we move away from the pond it turns that pink color means you can't place it there now I was curious to see if I could place it in the river. I never tried one of those. So let's just zip over here real quick. Stop over here at this little waterfall thing. Now I wouldn't probably ever actually do this, but I just kind of wanted to see if it worked. You would think it would work and it doesn't work. So I figured that would happen. So let's just, uh, for the sake of showing you what to do, I'm just gonna go ahead place this guy and so you can do this relatively simply so I've got that guy right there go into my inventory we will use the uh, this guy <clears throat> and then we're going so we can drink water from here we can place that stuff in our inventory and of course we can run a whole bunch more pipes up into our base so we don't have to come down here for water so that's gonna be great also not just for drinking but also for uh, Ah, oh, jeez, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking too fast. That will also be great for uh, irrigating crops and uh, getting water to an industrial cooker um, and beer barrels and other kinds of stuff. So that's that. Now we're going to go look for some places to put wells. 
And once we get to one of those locations, we shall be back. All right, we're back once again, and we're here at one of these little places um, that you find scattered throughout the desert. And so this is a place where I built a, a real quick base when I first started out. You can see there's a fa uh, foundation there so I could put down a mortar and pestle. But anyway, so here's one of these little spots on the map, and you can drink water from here. Um, just right from uh, right from here so you drink it uh, which I just did I don't think I, I, yeah so I just drank the water from here and just pooped or my gerbo just pooped I should say and so we can set up a well here because if you drink from here repeatedly you'll eventually drain the water out and I believe it takes a while for it to refill so these are kind of nice to have uh, scattered around but they are pretty widely scattered um, so if you're gonna set up a base near here which might be kind of fun it's a great idea to put in a well and so that isn't going to run dry to my knowledge anyway you can't uh, so here's a water intake pipe you can't place that here um, you need a well so let's put in a well Boom. So the wells are pretty cool looking too. They got the little bucket, just like what you would expect a well to be. Uh, you can see the well is filling up with water right now. And I didn't actually know that that happened because I've never bothered to use a well. Um, because I went and moved my base over there. So it's kind of nice to have the well um, set up here. And I'm pretty sure you can use them for irrigation purposes we were interrupted uh, by some terror birds which we took out pretty quickly um, anyway so using this for irrigation once again um, you can so here I'm using just a uh, diagonal water pipe you can see there's these different uh, there's four different pipes here so I'm assuming we could hook up f at least four different um, systems to this so we're gonna hook up here and then we can go ahead and we can put, uh, let's see, what else do I have? We got a vertical, I don't want a vertical. So let's just, for the sake of example here, we don't want any more inclines. So on straight pipe, where is it? Straight. Yeah. So if we wanted to set up an irrigation system for some plants, uh oh, we're in a battle. What's going on? Oh, Thorny Dragon. I am not listening to my sound, by the way, because I have some sound issues when I am using a microphone. So I'm not sure exactly when I'm being attacked sometimes. So that's that's what's going on there. If you were hearing the music and you're like, what the hell is he doing? That's what I'm doing, is not listening to the sound. Okay. So here we got this guy, and now we can put in the tap which we don't have. We can make one of those as well. Um, I thought it was called the tap. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's called the tap. So I need some wood. Uh, so let's grab some wood. Go over here. Got a handy tree over here. You probably get the point though. I think there's wood in here, isn't there? Yeah, 71 wood. Uh, it's the only thing that you don't need uh, just stone for, I believe, as far as the irrigation systems goes, is the tap. So we'll go ahead and build one of those. Why not? All right. So you can drink from the well without, you know, putting in these pipes and whatnot, um, for sure. And But there's our tap. So again, we could put this in the ground if we wanted to. I just like the looks over here. Now we can add some crop plots, uh, put some seeds and fertilizer in there, and poof, we'll have some stuff. Go away. Um, yeah, so that's that. There's also a couple other ways to get water, and those are from animals in scorched earth. So there's no wells in uh, the regular, you know, center map and the island map, those other vanilla ones. Um, just this DLC, are there, there are wells. And uh, likewise, there are a couple of creatures here that are in Scorched Earth that aren't in those maps. Um, I just saw one around here, a wild Morella Tops. And then the other one is the Water Jug Bugs. And those are pretty cool. You can just run up to a Water Jug Bug and then drink from it. And as soon as I find one, uh, is those Dodicarus or is that a bug? 
uh, you can get a drink. Uh, the oil bugs work the same way, so I'll just use one of these guys. And so walk up behind them. Um, I think I have to be un unweaponed here. No, oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. There we go. So you can see he deflates, and then he's off. And I added 16 oil. And uh, the water bugs work just the same way, except you just refill your your water. Of course, the other way to get um, water that I didn't mention is to eat berries. Now you're not going to get much water, but you do get some. Uh, so that's the other way that works in you know all the different maps as well. Let's see. Here's a water bug, but he's already deflated, so you can't get water. Or maybe you can. Anyway, so he walks off. Now here's a Morella Tops, and this is a wild one, so you cannot drink water from it. You can drink water from it after you've tranked one, and then you can also um, get water from it if you have tamed one. And so they have a certain amount of water, and I believe they have to be refilled by leading them to a pond, or perhaps when it rains, but it rains so infrequently that I couldn't tell you if that's you know really the case. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that takes care of all the water uh, resources that are out here in Scorched Earth. And then it did cover those other maps as well. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it uh, helps you out, especially getting by in Scorched Earth, which can be a little more difficult, uh, I think. And because of the water resources, spoil times, uh, some dangers out here. Uh, if it did help you out, or if you just liked the video, hey, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you later, guys.